I first met the training in 2014. I came to an open meeting here and um, it was just very clear for me. Um, I was like, I'm ready for this, I want this. Um, and, and that just was the beginning of a very beautiful journey. Um, um, and I, I went back, I'm lucky enough to live in Bristol. We have an amazing community in Bristol. So, um, yeah, got home and gradually started going to the open meetings. And then I did uh, a one day training, four day training. And then I was like, I want a trainer. So it's like, okay, 12 empowerments, next step. So um, I came back to Goa. I came back to Goa and I did the, uh, the 12 empowerments. And, um, oh, I, like before and after, just no contest, <laughs> really. Um, my upbringing, um, I grew up like, in a quite a strict religious uh, Catholic family. And um, so I was kind of brought up with the concept of um, sin. And, uh, and I, I took that on big time and uh, yeah. I don't know if anyone else is Catholic, but it's sin, guilt. Um, yeah, so um, I took that on and, and, um, and I suffered quite a lot. Um, I used to have a lot of uh, uh, like depression, um, anxiety was a big one, phobias. Um, oh, just, just so much. And, um, you know, and I just used to seek for refuge in like, drinking and it's a holiday in the head that's how I used to describe it I just need to stop all this thinking and just get away from it and um, of course the next morning when I sobered up and it was like oh it was like even more intense um, and then I and then I got introduced to uh, like therapy and um, yeah kind of um, doing workshops and how I could fix myself and then I, I thought I'd found reasons of why I was like why I was and it was like great but then it was still that that thing when I've still got to do something um, so I just thought I was on a, a lifetime of fixing myself and oh it was exhausting it was really exhausting um, and I was just very very self-focused and um, and now it's just completely different like when I turned up to 12 Empowerment, I had a lot of baggage. You know, I had my issues. I spent like 10 years working out what they were and this is what they were. <laughs> and yeah, and I, I, was, I was special. I had my issues and no one else had my issues. And, and yeah, to just step into the 12 Empowerments, I just, it was like the thing, giving up my right to be a victim of them. Oh man, it's just, whew just so much space and oh peace of mind so many benefits in my life um, like harmonizing relationship the first one I harmonized and empowered was the one with myself that was the most important that's like yeah ground zero that's where it starts from and then from there I could really harmonize like relationships like with my family my friends and once I learned to let myself and all my emotions and sensations just be as they were then I could let other people's like my brother you know that was just a no-go before you were just like that and now just fighting all the time and now it's like in me relaxing with my stuff my data he's actually relaxed with his and now I just I just have so much love for him and I never thought I'd say that and just the absolute peace and stability I have in my life. Stability, this is what I always wanted. I was just a drama queen. I was on the ups and downs, the peaks, the highs and the lows. And it, you know, yeah, I'm up there. And oh, no, sorry, can't help you today. I'm feeling too depressed. I'm too, I've got to sort this anxiety out. I've got to, I was, was not available. And now I'm totally available. I had a, one of my close friends got very sick um, with cancer and, and she died. And I was just supporting her all the way through. And normally it would have been, the focus would have been on myself, how I was feeling about it, how it was affecting me. And that just was not there. It was just so clear. What can I do to support you? What do we need to put in place? And it was there. It was just there.
through to beyond, <laughs> beyond. And, uh, and now I've got another member of my family that's just been given a, a diagnosis. And, uh, and, and, uh, and I was so glad to be here. I just have so much support here. I have my amazing trainer that I can write to 24-7. Um, yeah. You know, and it just, before I would have just collapsed into the whole lot. And now I, I'm just empowered to go, okay, great. How can I be a benefit? How can I serve? How can I? And, and there's just no more glass ceiling in life. It's just like, <laughs> really, welcome to the Sky Dome. It's like, and if it's possible for me, it's possible for everybody. And I, and I really see the beauty and the magic in everyday life now that I never used to.